quote Sabir Sakar, professor of astronomy, Oxford University. In cosmology, we use a model that was first formulated in 1922. We have great data, but the theoretical basis is outdated. What conclusions did a gathering of the world's top astronomers come to about the biggest crisis in contemporary cosmology? The scientists warn, the latest image from the James Webb Telescope show that something is wrong with our universe. We must act now and cannot teach outdated knowledge in schools and universities. The old rules no longer apply and the Webb Telescope shows us the clear evidence. Are 100 years of work now completely in vain? Or can parts of our old worldview still be saved? Sabir Sarkar is a professor of astrology and cosmology at the famous University of Oxford. The scientist is absolutely right when he says that these days we cannot possibly hold on to knowledge based on the knowledge and technology of the 1920s. The scientists of that time did a great job and they provided a coherent picture of cosmology for a long time. But this work has now been overtaken by facts. Current observations show that the universe is not the same everywhere. And this calls into question one of the fundamental pillars of cosmology, the homogeneity of the universe. This phenomenon and other pressing questions about the current crisis in cosmology were discussed by a group of the best international experts. The Venerable Royal Society in London had invited a select group of the best astronomers and cosmologists of our time to an illustrious gathering. These scientists are now warning a new age is coming. The old theories and statements of almost a hundred years ago are no longer valid. It is very likely that a certain portion of our observational data is correct, but we have very probably fundamentally misinterpreted these observations for a long time. Something is wrong. The universe can't possibly look like this. Have you ever thought about the fact that our universe should still be basically the same as it was shortly after the Big Bang? It sounds strange, but it is true. Astronomers like to use the comparison with a balloon to explain this idea vividly. If you blow it up, the dots and patterns on the surface move on and on. They change their structures, shapes, and positions, but the basic patterns remain the same. In the same way, scientists have calculated our existing universe back to a starting point and have used the cosmic microwave background radiation to deduce the basic structures of the universe. Classic cosmology, which was based on these and other ideas such as uniform expansion, subsequently assumed that the universe is homogeneous and isotropic on large scales. This means that it should look the same in all directions and show an even distribution of matter and energy. This assumption is inextricably linked to many other fundamental theories such as the Big Bang and expansion. But there is a problem. According to this theory, if you look at the universe on the largest scales achievable, there should be no noticeable structures or anomalies. All we should see is a largely uniform distribution of galaxies, similar to an evenly sprinkled cake. But the reality is different. The James Webb Space Telescope is a milestone in modern astronomy, and it has provided images and data that challenge these basic assumptions since its launch in the summer of 2022. The JWST has discovered structures in the yearly universe that are so massive and expansive that they defy the notion of a uniform distribution. It is as if there are lumps of icing or completely empty spots on our cake that should not be there. These structures include large clusters of galaxies that existed very early in the universe and unusual distributions of quasars. These observations and other anomalies show that the universe is anything but homogeneous on these large scales. The unexpected destiny in the distribution of quasars, for example, is in no way consistent with the old models of homogeneity. Quasars are extremely luminous cores of distant galaxies. One side of the universe shows a density of these quasars that is about 0.5% higher than the other. This asymmetry in the universe is comparable to a cake icing that is so overloaded on one side that the balance of the cake would be disturbed. What do the Great Ring and the Giant Arc reveal? Two structures that are considered impossible simply because they are far too large are the Large Ring and the Giant Arc. These structures were discovered by a young astronomer named Alexia Lopez. Together with her team, the U.S. American researched large-scale structures consisting of galaxies and galaxy clusters. 
These extend over scales which, according to standard theory, should be smooth and featherless. But they are not. The giant ring is a gigantic ring structure formed by a group of nine gamma-ray bursts that are roughly equidistant from Earth. This structure is peculiar because, with a diameter of about 5.6 billion light-years, it is one of the largest known structures in the observable universe. Its sheer size is the problem for the standard model of cosmology, as this prescribes that on scales larger than about 1.2 billion light-years, the distribution of matter in the universe should be uniform. But the Great Ring is not uniform. The Great Arc is another structure that is too large and thus brings irregularities to our cake icing. The arc consists of an almost uniformly aligned group of galaxies that spans about a tenth of the entire known sky. This structure is thus so massive that it calls into question the cosmological principle that the universe should have no favored directions or regions of higher density on large scales. Researchers have been amazed at new anomalies and the facts that simply throw old theories overboard, and not just since the beginning of the JWST. We have known about irregularities for a long time, and even Hubble, the Old Space Telescope, regularly delivered data that was not quite compatible with standard cosmology. You've probably heard the saying, exceptions prove the rule, and this also applies to a certain extent in science. In plain language, this means that certain outliers do not immediately call our theories into question. However, if the outliers occur more frequently and thus become a rule in their own right, or if the outliers even gain the upper hand, then something may no longer be right. This is precisely the case in cosmology. The Big Ring and the Giant Arc also contradict the assumption that dark matter and dark energy, which together are supposed to make up around 95% of the contents of the universe, are evenly distributed. The problem is that neither dark matter nor dark energy are proven facts and we can only deduce them, not see or measure them. Both are important factors in the expansion of the universe and the dynamics of galaxies in the universe. It is possible that these two are complemented by other forces in gigantic cosmic rounds that we do not yet know. Now it's out. Hubble was wrong. Quote from Adam Rees, Nobel Prize winner and astrophysicist. Our previous picture of the universe is wrong. These are exciting times. We are at a turning point the likes of which natural science has not seen for a long time. Around a hundred years ago, great minds such as Albert Einstein were researching the forces and rules in a universe that was becoming even larger and even more unmanageable. Edwin Hubble discovered the first galaxies outside our Milky Way and realized that distant galaxies were moving away from us. This gave him the idea of the expansion of the universe, and he came to the conclusion that this expansion must start from a single point. The Belgian clergyman and researcher Georges Lemaitre finally formulated the Big Bang Theory from this idea, and since then, the basic model of cosmology has not changed much. Only now are there massive changes again. Nobel Prize winner Adam Rees saw these changes coming. Through his research on the Hubble effect, he was certain that our previous science must have overlooked something important about the true nature of the universe. The Hubble effect comes about because measurements of the rate of expansion of the universe show different results depending on which quantities are used as standard candles. Sometimes scientists measure using the cosmic background radiation, and sometimes they use a special class of stars, the Cepheids, as a standard. Both results should have been the same in the homogeneous universe, but this has not been confirmed. When the telescope named after Edwin Hubble confirmed these measurements for the first time, scientists were still able to assume a measurement error to some extent. However, the JWST has now confirmed the discrepancies, and the discrepancies in the rate of expansion have become a fact that scientists must now face up to. If the universe does indeed exhibit large-scale inhomogeneities, this could fundamentally change our understanding of how and why the universe expands, how galaxies form, and how structures are created in the universe. Many researchers currently assume that Einstein, Hubble, and other pioneers of 20th century astrophysics correctly identified part of how the universe works, but it was only part of the truth. Desi Dark energy may be intelligent. The news is staggering. 
there is evidence that our universe really could have something like an intelligence. This would make it kind of a living being. This idea sounds far-fetched at first, but it is based on current cosmological findings. Until now, it was assumed that dark energy as a cosmological constant is responsible for the accelerated expansion of the universe and is the same everywhere. As a constant, this force would be the same everywhere. However, the variations in the expansion rate revealed by different measurement methods and the latest observations from the JWST show that dark energy is not as constant as once assumed. Recent data from the Dark Energy Spectroscopic Instrument, or DESI for short, indicate that the properties of dark energy have changed over time. This is interesting, because it could mean that dark energy has some kind of intelligence, or at least variable dynamics, which we in science previously thought impossible. DESI is a project that has done one of the largest 3D mappings of the universe, and that data showed the surprising new data. If dark energy has evolved over time and is not constant, as Einstein assumed, this could explain why different measurements give different values for the expansion rate of the universe. In plain language, however, this would also mean that we are dealing with a universe in which all scientific quantities can possibly change constantly. Click the subscribe button now and be part of every new video.